those who's prince on prince amila entertainment tv subscribe to the channel or follow us on all our social media platforms instagram prince Mila entertainment facebook are prince Mila entertainment facebook group are prince amila entertainment tv we're available on twitter it's a p Mila ent follow us on twitter and follow back welcome to another edition of our other thoughts with prince on prince amila entertainment tv today is the 22nd of uh, february uh, 2022 all the thoughts of Prince is a debate show. I'll give you guys a topic. I'll give you guys my own views, my own opinion. Yes, you guys are free to comment in the comment section as long as we don't insult each other. And welcome new subscribers who are listening, watching us for the first time. Welcome to Prince Milan Entertainment TV. To all our loyal, loyal, loyal members, Magakosha, family members, Pastor Mimika, Apana Apana. So, guys, here's the latest news. Uh, the European Union, EU, uh, is renewed sanctions on members of the ruling ZANU PF party and added government arms manufacturing company, the Zimbabwe Defense Industries ZDI, barely 48 hours after President Emerson Nangagwa returned from a high profile summit at the multilateral organization's headquarters in Brussels, Belgium. Nangagwa was in Brussels for the better part of last week attending a cooperative uh, summit between EU and the African Union. The state media was in overdrive about the summit, claiming his re-engagement effort was bearing fruit and he was sealing lucrative trade and investment deals. He was, for instance, praised for having met with the Siemens Health Nair's Senior Vice President Bent Bieber and Chief Executive Officer CEO of Antwerp World Diamond Center, AWDC, Ari Epstein. The companies the state media claimed offered huge investment in Zimbabwe's health sector and diamond mining, but the, the EU may have prematurely silenced approbations where it announced the renewal of the embargo, citing continued human rights violations by Harare. The restrictions include asset freezes of targeted individuals. The situation in terms of respect for human rights has not improved in Zimbabwe. The EU said in a statement Monday, intimidation of the political opposition and other government critics has continued to restrict the democratic and civil space, which is under threat of shrinking further through the Data Protection Act and ongoing legislative process such as the Private Voluntary Organization Amendment Bill and the so-called uh, Patriotic Act. The organization said the EU is concerned about these developments. Perpetrators of human rights violations should be swiftly brought to justice to end impunity. The recommendations of the Mtlatle Commission of Inquiry have not been followed and needed to be implemented as a matter of priority and urgency. It is important that international human rights obligations are adhered to and the constitutional rights of the people of Zimbabwe are respected. In this light, the EU recalls the purpose of its restrictive measures, which is to encourage a demonstrable, genuine and long-term commitment by the Zimbabwean authorities to respect and uphold human rights and the rule of law. The EU has decided to renew its restrictive measures while lifting the already suspended restrictive measures against three individuals, the arms embargo and the targeted assets freeze against one company, Zimbabwe Defense Industries, remain in place taking into account the situation in Zimbabwe as well as the continuing need to investigate the role of security forces in human rights abuses. The EU further said it will continue to keep an eye out of any developments on the human rights front and will be ready to review the restrictions where necessary. As the statement, the EU will continue to closely follow developments with a particular attention to the human rights situation and recalls its readiness to review and adapt the whole range of its policies accordingly. The measures in place are targeted and very limited, therefore they do not affect the people of Zimbabwe, its economy, foreign and direct investment or trade. Zimbabwe continues to benefit from duty-free and quota-free access to its exports to the EU, while negotiations are ongoing to deepen the Eastern and Southern Africa ESA, Economic Partnership Agreement. And that's the latest there, guys. Uh, the European Union he have renewed my sanctions and uh, yes it did have a Belgium a few days ago and uh I should go to Marie pa Robert Gabriel International Airport time back there to me run direct and I know at this school piece of my sanctions no 
to go and to renew and go for another year and two next year and uh, they are ready to review if the Zimbabwean government changes its way of doing things if they implement those reforms and uh, especially the Mkate Commission recommendations that we always talk about them here on this channel on Prince Miller and the Temi TV yes Nyaya a group spectre called Zero Zero One doing in Nyaya and we've seen Mapurisa, writers when watch it. I've seen the video actually a few days ago. Mapurisa Chirua, my supporters, uh, a citizens coalition for change at the Central Police Station. When I watch one, when I watch one of my videos, I die so, and it will paint a bad, bad picture because uh, those videos will be circulating everywhere. And to me, like, when I watch one, I woman, she took it again. My police are asking why the police were supposed to issue a statement and on that incident. I got no to suspend my police. I and I and do I got one so I got to cut or cut or cut, you know, to show transparency. Which they are really acting on those clips which were circulating on social media, but no, we never heard anything from the police. Which means, good tea, my police are you are got one on that day. There's two police officers around the room, bones, the chichi, I but to make out to my sanctions are. So people on social media have been reacting uh, positively. Some people saying, you know what, I'm going to be able to sanctions here. I'm going to be able to take a step back because uh, we need to learn, we need to implement my reforms so that uh, Zimbabwe even in Nigeria and Naga. And uh, someone uh, that, uh, that means no any European country must tell Zimbabwe what to do. They must keep their EU. We keep our Zimbabwe. The matter of move out of Iowa. In my European Union, you guys need to stay in Europe. And uh, yes, it's also a uh, check keep for Zimbabwe. You do know. And uh, someone I uh, wrote that um, EU are in a time for listening uh, to the NPF nonsense. When you panana my sanctions, pachawo ma EU imomo. If any member misbehave, mozo ti anababa tu zao abo. And uh, someone I uh, wrote that. Uh, Yes, the NPF claimed to have gone to the battlefield to fight against the white regime, but was NPF alone there? No. Even my grandfather was there, only that he passed on before the time of compensation. So, the NPF supporters or fans, whatever you call yourself, Zimbabwe is for Zimbabweans, not the NPF. Remember that if we keep quiet, don't underrate us thinking we are cowards. And the answer was Zimbabwe belongs to every Zimbabwean, which is true. Zimbabwe doesn't belong to zanu pf no i think that's what happened about so many times that we are zimbabweans this one watch we are the citizens this one are in zimbabwe and uh, zimbabwe doesn't belong to certain figures or certain people or certain uh names or certain names no zimbabwe belongs to us it belongs to me it belongs to you so someone wrote that cha chino ruaza fungwa zedu ndiche kuti apiwa sanction ana namo ya anoona isu wakauri tisu to this is a sanction. I know 100 US minister and sanction. I know Jira Mari who searches. So, I'm going to go to the levels. And again, when it comes to Naya, the my sanctions is. But anyway, I did tell in the comment section this is audio thoughts with Prince on Prince and Milan and Jetsemi TV. I'm going to go to the European Union and the European Union has renewed my sanctions against Zimbabwe. And they're saying that uh, the government needs to do a lot and that they need to, to implement. Some of the reforms, my tower, my electoral reforms, my security reforms. Nenyaya ye code zero zero one, and it is donya donya iripa mungo nyaya pa po ifi nungo ya mungabi nyaya zero code zero zero one. Dango garad shingo chikorwa. Nema police, nema soldier, nema security forces, and it nema security operatives. I'm not saying as if and it is just because we are not abducted or we are not going Apana wa zinu mbo inda. Mapurisa nungo ti we are still investigating. We are still investigating. Even itai za mara aga shaiga. Nananasi mapurisa achi nungo ti we are still investigating. Andika. Sa mosha mzoto chichi nungo chichi nungo chichi nungo. Andika. So we're gonna keep you guys in the loop regarding this. Kati tore. Mwazo na say. Ma sanctions are renewal. Despite what Herod was saying that ED. Aruku Europe. The main is signing mega deals. Singa zao ti ma mega deals achi nda hapi. Aga sa wana ED. Pangu Aruku Europe. And it was just a meeting, and just a meeting of African heads meeting the European counterparts. And it was like, "Pakai it all in the comment section. This is all the thoughts of the Prince on Prince and Mila in the same TV. Much you go America Zakari will be renewing uh, its sanctions against Zimbabwe. And only my sanctions there at Visqua. And then in September, 
changa tichi matcha zvaka chenda kuti zvino sports stadium kunoti tichi ma sanctions za viskwe pa anti sanction day we gonna do this each and every year of course apakaipa so guys this is uh all the thoughts of the prince on prince Milan entertainment tv thank you very much for listening and watching remember to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload to this channel but it's already you know when i say yeah it's going to be social media in your pizza in your mass sanctions in your activity this whole year we're going to be talking about it because in your campaigns again and so many political parties are going to be using my sanctions as a spare good for not developing zimbabwe or because of the situation in atelier at the moment just want my sanctions my sanctions my sanctions my sanctions saga pakaipa all the thoughts with prince on prince melanie tv bless up